Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to build a random sentence generator. So how it works is you'll um, create a button and when you click on the button, it'll generate a random sentence. And sometimes the sentence makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. So you might get some funny results. It can be very hilarious sometimes, so I recommend you watch till the end to get my to get all my source code for this project. And also, before you watch my video, do you mind giving it a like and subscribe? Thanks. Anyways, let's get started. So first, I'll create a create a button. Whoops, I didn't mean to create a div button. I'll give an ID of generate random wait not generate random just generate sentence button let's capitalize to be make it make a camel case and then I'll call it generate random sentence that's the label of the button and as you can see if I click on it nothing will happen because I haven't added any event listeners yet that's where the JavaScript part comes in, but we're not there yet. Now I'll create a p tag and call it paragraph. And I'll give it a label of click on the button to generate a fun and silly sentence. Okay. Now I'll create a div give an idea of whoops give an idea of display sentence then I'll give it a label of your sentence will appear here whoops okay this is basically just dummy text you don't, you don't really have to put your sentence will appear here I can just leave it blank if I want to but I'm just doing it because I want to you don't have to if you don't want to. Now I'll create my script tag and store my button in a variable called button. I'll just use the shortcut, it's quicker. Generate sentence button, make sure I spelled that correctly. Yeah, I think I spelled it correctly. Now time for some CSS. So, yeah, create my style tags, go in there and style my button. Oops, I think I spelled it wrong again. There we go. I don't know why it was not working. I'll give it I'll give the text color of white. One pick solid black. Margin 12 pixels. Font family. Franklin Gothic medium. Width 16 REM. Font size to REM position relative I'll move it left by 40 pixels I'll move it to the bottom 250 pixels and now I'll style my paragraph so let me go to the next line like that and I'll give it a color of wait let's start with the background color background color lawn green okay color dark blue with 20% padding 13 pixels position relative left 550 pixels so we'll end up probably somewhere where the button is because 
I move the button left 540 on it, and I move the paragraph left 550, so they're just 10 away from each other, 10 pixels away from each other. Okay, we're done with our paragraph. Time to move on to our sentence. Color red, font family, Verdana, Geneva, whatever, however you say it. Position relative again. Left 560 pixels. Whoops, not elf. <laughs> Left 560 pixels. Bottom 50 pixels, which will just move it up. If it says bottom, it'll just move up. If it says top, it'll move down. It's counterintuitive. Okay, now I'll start. I'll create an array of adjectives. So var adjectives equals. You can come up with your own adjectives, but this is what I have tall, jumbo, <laughs> fat, skinny. Old, young, um, middle aged. I don't know. I'm just coming off, coming up with these from the top of my head. Peaceful, quiet, rotten. There we go. I think that's good enough. Var. Now I'll create some nouns. So. Duck, I don't know. Duck, mug, rhino. Now I'm coming up with some animals. Elephant, plates, pineapple. Okay, all of this are very random. I'm just coming up with them from the top of my head, like I said before. Cat, water bottle. Um. Let me add a few more. Notebook. Pencils. And couch. There we go. I think that's good enough. Wait, where's our ending bracket? Right there. Okay. Let's let's create an array of adverbs now. So my first one is quickly, quietly. I can't, okay. Loudly, tentatively, eerily, spookily, knowingly, ferociously, that's a good one. And I think that's good. Last one, I'll have to create my array of what is it? Verbs, yeah. That's our last part of speech. So, um, let me think. How about ran, jumped, sang, scream, yelled, ate. As you notice, all these are in present, aren't in past tense. I'm doing it for a reason. You'll see. Learned. Pl whoops. Forgot to put quotes. Played. Squ squeaked. Bored. Speaking. Talk. Wait, speaking and talk are the same thing, but okay. Spoke. Okay, we're done with all of our part of speech. Now time to finish up the rest of the JavaScript. I'll create another variable called new speech synthesis utterance. This will tell the computer to talk. var result equals doc wait, equals document dot get element by ID S display sentence 
then we'll add an event listener to our button dot add event listener click it will listen for a click event and now once we go in the function what we want the function to do is we want it to pick a random adjective random noun random verb random adverb every single time and put them put those randomly chosen part of speeches together to form a sentence and I just realized I misspelled the so how do we how we do that is by doing uh, by creating a variable called var random noun then we'll do verbs then math dot round times wait math dot round then we'll go in the parentheses and we'll do math dot random since this is a method we have to add a set of parentheses like always times the length of the of the array so nouns dot length so even if we added another one it'll dynamically change but if I put a number instead like let's say 8 if I add one more it'll still be 8 so I have to do this instead this is better I'll do the same thing for the um, for the adverb make sure I spell it correctly I don't want to misspell this math dot round math dot random times adverbs dot length var random uh, random noun we, we just used noun already random verb equals verbs why did I say verb I meant type noun there then noun math dot round math dot random times verbs dot length okay last one our adjective random adjective adjectives two brackets and we'll do math.round times adjectives dot length. Next we'll do speech dot text equals result dot inner HTML. So basically the computer will read off whatever the sentence is speech dot lang which is just language okay next I'll do speech dot pitch equals one speech dot rate if you uh, increase the pitch, it'll just sound more shrill and high pitched, if you know what I mean. Speech dot volume equals one. And this is like one of the most important thing about the most important thing that you have to type whenever you want your computer to speak. This line of code right here. Window dot speech synthesis dot speak. And what we want it to speak is the speech variable. So I'll read this, the res whatever the result is. So, huh? Let me open a live server. I forgot. Okay. Oh, it's over here. That's why I was wondering. Okay. And. I think we're done with everything. Let's test it out. No, we're not. Oh, we forgot to do this. We have we forgot to combine all the part of speech to form a sentence. That's what I forgot. 
result.innerHTML equals the plus empty quotes with the space in between. That's really important. You have to do that if you want it to work. Or else all of the words will be will be sticking together. The plus random adjective plus empty quotes again plus random noun plus empty quotes plus random verb random add verb result dot style dot color red result dot style dot border equals I'll just give it one pick solid black like that and it should work now wait let me refresh my page oh I misspelled result okay and what else did I do wrong oh okay why is it not working? Okay, I see what I did wrong. I forgot to, to put the S on noun. Hopefully it should work now. The undefined undefined sang ferociously. Huh? The old notebook okay. learned early. Okay, it's sort of working. I don't know why it says undefined, but... I'll call that a win-win. The peaceful plates jumped tentatively. The peaceful water bottle learned knowingly. And if you want to add more, the young couch sang loudly. Add more combinations to this generator. Just add more, um, more part of speeches. That's what I did for one of my other one. I added like two hundred adjectives. The rotten notebook sang knowingly. See what I mean? Like none of the sentence makes sense, but it's really funny reading it. The old water bottle jumped quietly. <laughs> the fat so, couch roared tentatively. If you like the video, please consider subscribing and giving my channel a like and sharing it with anyone else who may want to build this project. Thanks for watching my video and watching till the end. See you guys next time.